All right, hello. I haven't been on YouTube in a really long time. I don't even know when my last upload was. Because I didn't film. We went to Annapolis and I didn't film or I've been posting about graduation. Oh my gosh, my last published video is February 20th. So it has been a long, long time, which is all right. I've been really busy with school. Um, this summer has been crazy and it has flown by, um, but I mean, it's it's been interesting, I guess. I finished my thesis and all of that fun stuff. So I'm on the out now. And I'm working at Eastern this summer, uh, <clears throat> just helping keep the program run in every area. So I'm still teaching Pilates, I'm still teaching boot camp, um, still doing like rec, um, pool, all that stuff. But anyways, so I wanted to film a video today just talking about kind of how I got into fitness and exercise and all of that stuff. That's kind of where I want my channel to not go in the direction of and completely change, but just kind of add some of my educational um, elements to it as well. Um, so, I mean, I'll still do vlogs, like now that I'm out of, like done with the majority of my schooling and things, I'm hoping that Tyler and I can pick up vlogging again if there's ever anything interesting to vlog about. Um, Eve's is lying down now. Um, I'm gonna put the pen down so I stop clicking it. Anyway, so I have this whole like notebook full of ideas of videos that I want to film that are health and wellness and fitness related. So I'm just gonna start with the one that I put at the top here and that's just kind of how I got interested in fitness and then how I feel like in, um, fitness, like how I incorporated it into my lifestyle and why I feel it's important for people to incorporate it into their lifestyles as well and kind of how that can happen. Um, I am by no means an expert. I, you know, have my master's now in exercise science. So I know a lot more than I used to in terms of, you know, the programming and the exercise part of it. Um, but there's obviously still more learning to do. So yeah, I'm just going to start with kind of how I got interested in exercise. So in undergrad, I was a bio major. I did not have any exercise inklings at all you know I did sports in high school I ran track and cross country my senior year I played soccer throughout high school I was I mean I was just an active kid but most kids are um but I never really thought about exercise as like something I need to do every day and like incorporate it into a lifestyle when you're in high school that's not really like your main priority um so then I went to community college for two years and I mean I was never big I was never like large or unhealthy I didn't I just didn't really focus on my fitness um, so my first two years of college didn't really change anything I lived at home and you know I went on walks and I was active still um, and then I moved to Ames and I went to Iowa State for the rest of my undergrad and living where I lived in the um, apartment complex that I lived in um, I was about 10 minutes away from most of my classes so I had to walk to my classes every day which is fine and um, I mean that really helped keep me in shape because I had to walk from my apartment to my class across campus to another class and all over the place um, so that kept me you know kind of still fit but I wasn't still really focusing on my exercise at least not at first um, I ended up kind of having like a bad relationship with food during my time at Iowa State, and this was like my junior year, so it would have been 2014, 2015, um, I was really sick a lot. Um, like, I noticed every time I would eat, I would just be sick. So then that kind of made me want to stop eating at least specific foods. You know, like I wouldn't eat pasta or pizza or burgers or any like greasy, anything that I thought would upset my stomach because I had this terrible fear that... I would eat something and then, you know, 20 minutes later I would be sick and I would be like in a class or I'd be out with my friends or, you know, out to dinner or whatever and I'd be sick. So I was really terrified of eating, honestly, because I didn't want to be sick. And then that kind of spiraled into just a bad relationship with food in general. I pretty much only ever ate salad 
which is fine, don't get me wrong, like eating salad is good and it has its nutritional benefits. But when I mean I was just eating salad, I was literally just eating lettuce with like tomatoes, cucumbers, like I had vegetables in there, but it, there was no protein source. Like I didn't have chicken in my, you know, salads or shrimp or anything because I was afraid that it would make me sick. So I pretty much just ate salad for the rest of my time at Iowa State. And I ended up losing like 20 pounds from like the beginning of my junior year till the end of my senior year. Um, so over like the course of two years, I lost about 20, 30 pounds. And it wasn't like a healthy, like I'm losing this weight and like getting fit because I, you know, I've lost whatever. It was, I'm just losing weight. So, <laughs> so I had this bad relationship with food just because of my like, crazy idea that I would be sick all the time and I was sick a lot but I just didn't want to make it worse um my senior year of school at Iowa State I got a lot more into actual fitness um so I started going to the gym like one time a day and then I started going two times a day like I would go do my own workout and then I would go to a class like at night with my friend which is totally fine I mean not a huge deal but I would do this every day and then I would just go like on the weekends like by myself and I would work out once a day. So I was kind of like obsessing over not only losing weight, but like being fit, you know, like having that, oh, I'm fit and I exercise. And so like any free time I had like between classes, like I know I had like a morning class probably at 8 a.m. And then I didn't have another class till like one. So I would go work out really hard after my first class, go work out super super hard like sweating and like huffing and puffing and then I would go down to the dining hall and I would try to eat something before my class but I would be so nauseous and sick from literally working so hard that I wouldn't really eat anything and then I would go to class and then I would go home and I would do homework and it just was kind of like this weird obsession with not eating like anything because I was afraid I would be sick and exercising a lot so that was kind of where I mean all the the ideas about being fit and like getting into exercise started. Um, and then I got married, um, after my time at Iowa State. So I graduated, we got married in July. Our anniversary is coming up for three years and I got married and I, you know, was done with school and I got a job and I just kind of stopped everything. I worked at a hospital so I had access to the gym and it was, you know, free, a free employee membership for me, which was awesome and I did go there, but I never had that motivation to really work out. They didn't, I didn't go to any classes because it was never offered at a time that I could go. And when I would go, I would do like a little circuit or something, you know, um, I never focused on upper body because I didn't want to know how to work my upper body. And two, I just thought, well, if I do legs, I'll burn more calories and I'll lose this weight really fast and I'll get my abs and blah, blah, blah. Long story short, that didn't work. I did a ton of cardio and never really saw any result because my diet was so bad. So that was, um, a year. So I left Iowa State in 2016. I worked 2016, 2017. I worked for a whole year, you know, full-time jobs. And then in 2017, I got accepted to Eastern here in Illinois, and I came here for school in 2017, started school, and I didn't really realize how much weight I had gained over that year, and I had gained about 20 pounds. So I gained pretty much all of that weight back that I lost at Iowa State. I gained it all back, which is fine, except it wasn't good weight. Like, it, was, it wasn't muscle. It wasn't you know, a healthy gaining of weight. So uncomfortable with my body. And I was coming to Eastern to learn about exercise. And, you know, I said to myself, I said, why am I learning about exercise if I'm not doing it myself? So obviously being back in school and having access to a school gym, I started using that more and more. And obviously working with a population where you're telling them, you know, this is how we exercise and this is why it's important. You also need to practice what you preach. And so I started to notice that I was, you know, losing that weight that I had gained, but in a far healthier way this time, you know, I was gaining muscle and I was losing like that subcutaneous fat that just built up over the year when I just kind of sat on my butt. 
And I felt, I started to feel good about myself again. And I started to feel like, okay, well, this is a healthier relationship than what I had before. And I'm actually seeing some results now. So, you know, let's keep going. So now it's been two years I've been at Eastern and I'm almost done. And I love working out. It is one of the best parts of my whole day. Oh, there's a lot of science behind it and I'm not going to go into it in this video, but it's just, I always felt better after I worked out either stress wise or physically wise or mentally wise, whatever it was that it was bothering me. Or if I just wanted a good workout and I just wanted to sweat, I would go work out, but I was doing it in such a way that was healthy. You know, I wasn't obsessing over exercise. I actually want to go do it now because I'm motivated and just consistently seeing more results the the more that I go um and I have a long way to go I mean there's parts of my body that I hate that you know I need to just keep working on and that's gonna happen all the time I mean so I just have to think of it in a better way whereas before I was not thinking of it in a good way so that's kind of how I stumbled into fitness and I I know I'm like kind of rambling but it just I mean, I had a bad relationship with fitness, had a bad relationship with food. I was exercising a little bit obsessively and not eating well, so nothing happened. I stopped exercising, I stopped caring, and I gained all that weight back. And then I got into the field of exercise where I learned why exercise is important, how exercising in different ways can affect you differently. And that's kind of the long story of how I got into fitness and now why I feel like fitness is really important, especially mentally for not just me, but for anyone that I work with or anyone, you know, that's watching this that wants to learn about exercise and fitness. Um, I think it's just important to have a different perspective on why you're doing what you're doing. You know, don't just say, well, I'm going to exercise because, you know, so-and-so told me I should, you know, my doctor told me I need to exercise because it's good for my heart. You need to educate yourself on why you want to be ex exercising. Like you need to write down, physically write down your goals, you know, say, I want to do a plank for 45 seconds and I want to make sure that I keep my butt down while I'm doing that plank. I want to have I want to do 10 push-ups on my toes. I mean, we did a challenge with our members this month or in June, I guess. And we did a hundred pushups every Tuesday. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do a hundred pushups for four weeks in a row. That's 400 pushups. No way. You know, my mental barrier was no, I can't do it. The first day, the first Tuesday, I did a hundred pushups on my toes. And of course I didn't do them consecutively, but I did them. And I was like, what the heck? I've never pushed myself to do that before. And it was so encouraging and uplifting to me to say, okay, well, I've hit this goal. Let me keep going. Like I can't just stop and let's see how many I can do in a row next time, you know, cause I did 10 at a time the first time and I would take a really good break. So the second time, you know, I did 10 in a row and I would take a shorter break and then I would do 10 more on my toes. And it was just empowering. Okay. Sorry. My camera battery died. And my camera is like super warm. Anyway, so I was about done anyway. But long story short, you just have to change your perspective on how you're looking at exercise in order for you to sit back and say, okay, so why am I exercising? Why do I want to do this? How is this going to impact my life and not just my everyday? Can I go to the gym? You know, can I make this work? Can I fit it into my schedule? How are you going to implement exercise into your everyday life? And that doesn't mean you have to exercise every day. It just means how can I be more physically active and be healthier overall? So we have to like change our mindset. And that's really the biggest thing that I've learned in terms of how to help myself and how to help other people with exercise and fitness and health and wellness. You have to just look at it from a different perspective. And that's key. So that's kind of what I wanted to go over today and just kind of introduce the topic of, you know, fitness and exercise and all that. I have, like I said, a ton of different videos that I have written down that I want to film in the next couple months. Um, and yeah, so I think next we're going to talk about um, kind of my experience with different fitness programs that I've tried, different exercise programs, things like that. Um, and I mean, on my channel, I've done Tighter Together, which is um, through this girl I found on Instagram. She does this fitness challenge. And I've done two of her programs. I actually recently just did a 
um, fitness mini summer shred challenge from Christina Cap Capron. I think is how you say her last name. Um, I also follow her on Instagram and she has an app and I have the app. Um, and then she was, when I signed up, she actually was just starting her mini summer challenge. So I did that too. I didn't film any of it because I was literally in the middle of my thesis and I couldn't do anything outside of that. But, um, so I, anyways, I'll just kind of go over, you know, other people's fitness programs and kind of what I've learned from social media in terms of fitness. Um, so I think that might be the next video, just kind of how I program for myself and then how I follow like other people's video or other people's workouts and, and programs and things like that, kind of what I've learned. Um, and then, you know, I'll get through, you know, my experience at Eastern and um, how to program and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be kind of what's coming up next. That's all for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!